How's it going? Sitting low, just coming at you guys with another video. Got a flat tire on the mower, so I figured now would be a good time to show you my uh, onboard air system that I got on my pickup truck. So let's check it out. So this is my truck. This is my uh, 98 Chevy C1500. I drive it every day. It's got uh, 208, over 208 thou, and it's still trucking along. So pop the hood and I'll show you what I'm talking about with this air compressor. Okay, looking under the hood, you can see my compressor. This is just an older Bayer 450 that I've had laying around for a number of years. Um, this was actually on my Ranger at one point in time and it was chrome, but it started to rust out pretty bad, so I upgraded to a different one. But I kept this one around because it still worked fine. But anyhow, it doesn't have to be a, a Vire 450 or specific. It, you can actually go to any junkyard and find these compressors under the hoods of like, uh, you know, older Cadillacs, Lincoln Town Cars, Continentals, and stuff like that. There's actually a lot of cars that utilize air suspension from the factory. So, like I said, you can go to junkyards, start popping hoods, and typically find a compressor. It might not be this big, but you'll find one. Okay, now that you've seen the compressor, I'm going to show you guys what I use for my storage tank. And all this is is just a smaller two-gallon, older, expired fire extinguisher that I had laying around that I kind of converted a little bit. All I did was just put this nipple in here, another steel braided hose, another quick coupler. And this way, instead of having the tank permanently mounted into the vehicle somewhere, I can fill the tank and this actually makes it portable. So if I, like in this case, my mower's got a flat tire, I can fill the tank, then take the tank over to the mower, fill the tire up. So how it all works is the compressor plugs into this fitting here, this T fitting with a male here, another male here. And this feeds into the tank and then I got this female coupler here where I can plug in this air line. That way I can fill up a tire or something on the side of the road or even use an air tool if I needed to. But uh, pretty much you come over here, relay for the compressor, on off switch for the compressor. I'm going to go ahead and start the truck and we'll fill this tank. Up. We got our bottle filled let's go ahead and fill that tire it's the reason i didn't mount this thing and i made it portable so i could uh take it to remote places and have air where i need it because there's oftentimes you ain't going to be able to get your truck where you need the air so this makes it a lot easier Everything's hard to do filming and doing it one-handed, so bear with me. Just like that, she is full. Okay, now for the question that's on everyone's mind. Will it bust lug nuts loose? Let's find out. About 140. Yes, we're about 150 PSI right now. Wait until it hits about 160, and then we'll see what happens. All right.
right, so we're at 160. Let's see what happens. Got that one. Let's try this one. So yeah, it does bust the lug nuts loose. So that's pretty much going to do it for this one, you guys. Like I said, the mower had a flat tire, so I figured now would be a good time to show you guys my uh, Ghetto Fabulous onboard air system, which I know it's primitive, but you know what? It works, and it's come in very handy numerous times. So, And I've only got a couple bucks into it, so why not, you know? But anyway, any questions you got, feel free to shoot them in the comment section. I'll be sure to answer them the best I can. And uh, as always, have a good day, and thanks for watching. That dropped the tank pressure down to about 120. And wouldn't you know, the lug nut got stuck in the fucking socket. This is my life. <laughs>